Hello my friends, it is Sarah from Jumpstart and today we will be reading a story about a boy who plays in the wind. Raise your hand if you've ever played in the wind before. Okay, so here we're going to read Gilberto and the Wind. I hear wind whispering out the door. Yoo-hoo, he whispers, yoo-hoo. So I get my balloon and I run out to play. At first, wind is gentle and just floats my balloon around in the air. But then, with a jerk, he grabs it away and carries it up to the top of the tree. Wind, oh wind, I say, blow it back to me, please. But he won't. He just laughs and whispers, Yoo-hoo! Wind loves to play with the wash on the line. He blows the pillow slips into balloons and shakes the sheets and twists the apron strings. And he pulls out all the clothespins that he can. Then he tries on the clothes, though he knows they're too small. And Wind loves umbrellas. Once, when I took it out in the rain, he tried to take it away from me. And when he couldn't, he broke it. If the gate in the pasture is left unlatched, Wind plays with that too. He opens it up, then bangs it shut, making it squeak and cry. Has anybody ever seen that before when your gate goes back and forth when it's super windy? Wind, oh wind I say, and I go and I climb on. Give me a ride. But with me on it, the gate is too heavy. Wind can't move it at all. When the grass is tall in the meadow, wind and I like to race. Wind runs ahead, then comes back and starts over. But he always wins because he just runs over the top of the grass and I have to run through it and touch the ground with my feet. When the big boys on the top of the hill have to fly kites, wind helps them out. Wind carries their kites up to the sky and all around. But when I have a kite, wind won't fly it at all. He just drops it. Wind a wind, I say. I don't like you today. When the apples are ripe in the fall, I run with wind to the pasture and wait under the tree. And wind always blows one down for me. Look, that's a pretty big apple tree. And when I have a boat with a paper sail, wind comes and sails it for me, just as he sails big sailboats for sailors in the sea. And when I have a pinwheel, Wind comes and plays too. First, I blow it myself to show him how. Then I hold it out or hold it up and wind blows it for me. And when he blows it, he turns it so fast that it whistles and sings and all I can see is a blur. Wind likes my soap bubbles best of all. He can't make the bubbles, I have to do that. But he carries them way up into the air for the sun to color. Then he blows them back and makes me laugh when they burst in my eyes or on the back of my head. Raise your hand if you've ever played with bubbles before. I have too. When the leaves have fallen off the trees, I like to sweep them into a pile. But then wind comes along. And just to show that he can sweep without a broom, wind scatters the leaves all about again and he blows the dirt in my face. Sometimes wind is so strong, he starts breaking the trees and knocking down the fences. Then I'm afraid. I run in the house and lock the door. And when wind comes howling after me and tries to squeeze through the keyhole, I tell him no. But then comes a day when wind is all tired out. Wind, I whisper. Oh, winds, where are you? Shh. 
answers winds, and he stirs one dry leaf to show where he is. So I lie down beside him, and we both go to sleep under the willow tree. Yay, that was the end of the story. Thank you everyone for joining me. Bye.